Oh, that chair is broken. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I just want to talk about this power to me, and you know, he saw the title. So, you guys already know this is gonna be a very depressing video. Go ahead and get the tissues and get the get, get the Ben and Jerry's. So, this power to me that I did, <clears throat> I did horrible. No, but you won. You won first place. You got the medal. See that? Let me tell you guys a little bit about myself. I've been competing in powerlifting for about a year now. I'm 17 years old, as some people don't ever seem to realize whatsoever. Just turned 17 like two weeks ago too. So I'm just 17, not 25, not 24, not 32. And I had my first ever powerlifting meet last year in October, 100% Raw Men's World Heavyweight Championships. I only did deadlifts. So I started my first ever powerlifting meet, like full meet, like I did the bench, I did the squat, I did the deadlift in February of this year. So technically, I just started powerlifting. I'm already a star. It's only been a couple months. I started competing, like first full power to meet in February. It was a USAPL Richmond Open and I qualified for Raw Nationals then. And I competed two other times in between that. I used those two power to meets as progression. I just want to see where I am and where I need to go and what I need to change. On the right day, you'll be really strong. On the wrong day, you'll be really weak. And a couple days ago, I was really weak. There's a lot of reasons why I did really bad in that power to meet, but who wants to hear excuses? I, well, I do, so I can justify myself. I said at the power to me, four words. 100% my fault. Four words, that sums that right up. 100% my fault. Simple as that, anything that went wrong, because of me. Because who's the one stepping on stage? Not, not a coach, not a friend, not a camera person, not a family member, me. I worried way too much about the editing and whatnot that went into the power to me video, which I thought the editing was pretty cool. I didn't care as much about this power to me. I don't like saying that at all. If you guys have been watching for a couple months, you guys already know. A month ago, I moved up here. In Washington, D.C. right now, I moved up here. And from Virginia Beach, where the power to me was held. So my idea of this whole power to me was just more of like a way to really just go back to Virginia Beach because that's where I'm from. It was more like, I really just rather have gone back to Virginia Beach more than I really wanted to compete. Point is, I did really bad. I'm sorry, I saw a thing of cookies right there as I was looking at it. But I'm gonna tell you guys how to fix this. So if you did a power to me and you did really bad, now this is where I really wanna, this is where the video is actually really going. If you did really bad, you gotta learn what you did wrong. So if your program was off or you didn't program, do that. Another thing is to stay focused, right? So if you are a YouTuber, you out there, you know, you get to the power to me like, I need to get some good shots. Worry about that, because that's very important. Also worry about the reason you're there. A little bit more important, just, just just a little. And also, when you're picking openers, like, don't pick something too heavy. If you think you might not get it, then most likely you might not get it. And the biggest thing is focusing. You need to focus. You need to like stay locked, tack the entire time during that power to me. Stop worrying about shots and auto focus and whatnot, because that that is what gets you one white light. You might just want to ask a family member to film for you, which I did. Might want to get like a friend to come with you backstage and you know get all the cool fancy shots that you're doing yourself instead of warming up, which. I might have done. Ooh, an apple. Nope, that's a peach. Ah, oh, that's gross. Oh, it's all fuzzy. So with all that out the way, I just want to admit that the power to me was 100% this guy's fault. But I also want to talk about future power plans. So a lot of you guys asked me on Snapchat if I was still competing in Raw Nationals. Um, yes, why wouldn't I do that? Of course I'm doing Raw Nationals. <laughs> Your boy about to go win that. You see this medal right here? That, oh, okay, well, look at it. Champions win, and that is what I will be doing, unless someone else stronger there shows up, then I'll probably just shake his hand and probably get his autographs. Go on to IPF. But yeah, I'm definitely competing in Raw Nationals, so if you're going to Raw Nationals, see you there. And along with that, I thought about this competing in another power to meet that was on like August 20th, but I thought about it again, I was like, just, just, just stop. You're wasting your money on the entry fees, so things expensive, you know what I mean? But instead, I am competing in 100% Raw Men's World Heavyweight Championships, because it's gonna be up in Pennsylvania, which that's like a very easy drive from DC. And I can break the strip curl world record and you, they get belts. I want a belt. I can throw it on my shoulder. I can be like John Cena. The week from July 31st to August 7th, I won't be able to train whatsoever. I got accepted into like a summer program at George Washington University for film. So I'm gonna be spending my entire week on campus. Got Gotta separate the waters and walk through like Moses. So I'll probably make a new series and stuff. I don't know what it's gonna be called, but that is what's gonna happen. So I really just wanna bring updates. That's all this video really is. I wanna end this video with something that you guys can think about. A winner is determined by the amount. Okay, I, I got nothing else. I'm pretty sure I got that from brandyquotes.com. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on all the social media down in the description. Make sure you like, comment, share, and always 
sub sweep. I really hope I got everything else I need to say. I'm gonna record this again because that would be some booty.